Hi, good morning. Saturday, the 3rd of April, um, uh, 2021. Um, like I said, it's been a rough uh, two weeks in my life. Um, like I said, as you know, um, I, like I said, I had to check my messages and stuff, which is, I apologize for that. Um, like I said, my brother passed away on the 16th. Uh, my brother that lived with me, he passed away on the 16th. And it's been, like I said, my stepfather with me, he's, he got sick and he tested positive for COVID. And plus he had, a, so he had, had an infection from the surgery he had, a cancer operation he had. So he was in the hospital for, uh, he was in the hospital for about, about 10 days. Um, and like I said, we had to have the funeral, you know, we had to plan the funeral for my brother. Um, we had it on the 22nd. Um, but, you know, since my stepfather had tested positive for COVID, you know, we went to, there's a, 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 a clinic place on Bedford Park, we went there to get, you know, get the, the quick rapid test to make sure, you know, the test to see if we had COVID and it came back negative. I had actually two tests. I had the, um, I had a rapid test, you know, the, you know, like within two hours, uh, test, um, had that test, <laughs> excuse me, had that test done and they came back negative. And then what happened was, I think around Thursday, I started not being able to taste anything. You know, I, I could still smell. I just couldn't taste anything. So what I did was I went back to the clinic place on Saturday and had the uh, the uh, PCR test. And uh, but anyway, before that, um, Wednesday, my sister at the place she worked at, uh, they was giving out the uh, Johnson and Johnson one shot test. So I went there Wednesday. And I got the one shot test, but like I said, what, I started not being able to taste anything on on Thursday when I was trying to eat. Yeah, you know, I would try to taste anything, but I wouldn't. I wouldn't taste be able to taste anything. And so I went to that place on Saturday. That's was it Saturday. Saturday. Yeah, so, yes, I'm sorry, yeah, Saturday, I went to the place on Saturday to get the, the second day test. And that test came back negative as well. Um, and like I said, we had the funeral for my brother on Monday on the, uh, on the 22nd. And I still was feeling weak. And I remember even then I had tried to I had to get me something to eat because I felt like I was going to, I felt weak and I was going to, I was going to pass out. And I got the, you know, I got the PCR test back, the two-day test, and it came back negative. So I had two negative tests. So I was wondering, so what the hell, you know, what was wrong here? You know? And then my brother had called me, my oldest brother, because he had got the rapid test done there as well at this place here on Bedford. And he said the test came back positive. And, you know, after the funeral, he told, called me and told me that his test came back positive. So apparently this place here on Bedford was giving out a bunch of false positive tests. Okay, so I went, so that Saturday, the 27th, I went, you know, I called the ambulance and had them come and check me because I was, again, feeling lightheaded. I was trying to, you know, go to the store to, you know, get me something to eat and I, on the way back, even just trying to put the key in the door, I felt, I felt weak. And I went, to, you know, had the ambulance company and they took me to the, you know, Montefiore Hospital. And that's when they found out, she said, yeah, you, you tested positive, for, you know, you test positive for COVID. And I said, you know, and I explained to them, you know, I went to that place. So apparently that place is, you know, giving out a bunch of false negatives. And they said I had, uh, 
uh, some pneumonia as well, which was crazy. So um, they gave me fluids and stuff, and then they told me that, you know, basically quarantine myself. And so I went, and then plus they gave me this oxygenator thing to test my oxygen levels every couple of hours. Okay, and it's supposed to be, uh, you're checking it, and then she wrote on the paper, make sure it doesn't go below 94. So I've been checking this ever since I got this last Saturday. Um, and it's been, you know, it's been above that. You know, they gave me fluids when I was in the hospital. And so, like I said, and I've been able to eat now lately. I've been, the past few days, I've been able to eat. <laughs> I'm not able to taste, you know, food and stuff. So, I'm going to get that way. And I let my boss know, because I contacted my primary doctor, and he was saying that um, as long as you don't have a fever and stuff, that you should be able to go back to work. But my boss said, since you tested positive on the, on the 27th, which was last Saturday, she said, you got to the 12th. So, what I'm going to do is on Monday, on the 27th, on Monday, I'm going to uh, go to the city med place, not this place over here that's giving up this false negative. I'm going to the city med place and get the P PV the PVC test, the second, you know, the way you swab your nose. I want to get get it get done there, okay, and and hopefully that comes back, to, you know, negative. Yeah, the place opens up at eight o'clock, um, but I'm going to try to get there at like seven o'clock so I can, um, you know, you, you know, you get you register. And then that way they'll call you back when, when, when the you know the doctors are so you don't have to stand up there waiting in line. And the doctor will you know they'll call you back within a, and then you come back within a half hour and they'll swab you and then hopefully I'll go by Wednesday. Um, hopefully I'll come back negative because I've been I've been staying in the house uh, for the most part. Like I said, my stepfather came home uh, the, uh, last week. And he's been that home attendant, and I've been making sure that I've been using the Clorox wipes. When I use the bathroom and stuff, I use the Clorox wipes to wipe down the um, wipe down the toilet, wipe down the sink, and stuff to make sure. And um, I've been you know, washing up and brushing my teeth and all this. But I've been I've been staying in the house, quarantining myself uh, ever since that I said that Saturday. Uh, last Saturday, so I've been trying to stay in the house and, you know, trying to, you know, eat, eating, you know, eating my, now that I can eat, I've been eating soup for the, soup for the, for the, for the breakfast, I've been eating soup and I've been eating crackers and stuff and, and Gatorade, like my sister said, to eat some Gatorade and, and I've been able to eat some pizza, so I've been able to, you know, keep food down. Which is uh, a good thing. Uh, like I said, my taste buds came back, which I am eternally grateful for because that is the worst when you can't taste anything. I've been able to smell, I didn't lose my sense of smell. Okay, but I would, you know, like I said, I had lost my sense of, of taste. Uh, I had lost that, and thank God I can, I can eat. Uh, so, like I said, what I'm going to do, I'm going to stay my behind in the house uh, until Monday. Monday, I'm going to get up and and go to that city med place and get the swab, oh, and get the and register so I can get the swab test done. And because my boss said I got to the 12th, so hopefully, like I said, hopefully that test comes back negative on Wednesday. It comes back negative, and then I'll be able to go back to work. And like I said, I've been. Whenever I leave this room, I put my mask on. Like I said, I if I go to the bathroom, um, I've been using the Clorox wipes, wipe the toilet down, wipe the sink down, whatever I use that way. So that way, yeah, I'm trying to keep germ free. And like I said, I know my stepfather has to get tested again. He has to get uh, tested uh, by the doctor, and he had the home attendant. That comes a couple of days a week for him. Uh, so I've been trying to, you know, I talk to my sisters you know, every day to try to you know, keep my sanity because, you know, 
it's crazy to be inside. And like I said, it's been a crazy two weeks since my brother died. You know, I, I miss my brother. And I worry about my other brother who used to come here and take care of him because he used to, you know, he, he was one of the ones that, uh, I think he was back there when, you know, what, what happens is my brother, he had a, a heart attack and, and while well, he was in the elevator trying to come upstairs and I think the guy next door, because I saw the guy next door who lives in the other apartment, he gave me his condolences about two weeks ago. He, he, I think he had found them when he went down there to jump some trash. And I think what happened was my brother went back there when they were people in the ambulance was working on him. And he was, and I could tell from when I was calling uh, from my job trying to talk to him, he was, and they would think about sedating him <laughs> because they said he was just, he was all emotional, like as, like, as, it, as you would. You found your, your brother back there, you know, and I think he, and I think he needs to talk to somebody, talk to somebody because, because I think he's just messed up psychologically behind it because I, I remember at the funeral, he had to walk, he walked away when we were, they were having a funeral, he walked outside, and I just think he's messed up psychologically from being back there when they were working on my brother, and like I said, it's been a crazy two weeks. I haven't, uh, you know, like, like the Justice League thing came out, I saw that. You know, the Zack Snyder Justice thing. Godzilla vs. Kong came out. I still haven't really watched it. I haven't come. I'm going to see if I can watch that today. And, um, and, um, uh, Falcon and Winter Soldier, third episode came out yesterday. Like I said, I've been mostly watching Westerns <laughs> on, uh, on, um, cable, just watching Westerns and stuff. But, <sighs> Like I said, it's just weird. Like I said, it's a weird time. I know it's. Um, I know it's weird to say, but I'm looking forward to actually going back to work. Because, I don't know, just being, you know, isolated like this is, is crazy. It's, it's insane, and I think I need to work as a distraction. Like I said, we. When we went to the funeral and stuff, when we first saw my brother, they did a nice job uh, with him, and me and my sister kind of cried it out for a good five minutes there. And I just didn't, I didn't, I didn't want to stay too, not that I didn't want to see my brother, I just didn't want to, uh, Linger too much around the casket, you know. And there's a part of me that that's gonna always regret that, that that we couldn't. Like I said, my sister did the best she could, and we tried to, you know, get him get his health right. Like I said, when he got out, the only good thing is that I'm glad that he didn't die in prison. That he when he finally got out, you know, he spent. The remaining time he had with us, he didn't die in prison, which would have been even worse if he would have, to me, if he would have passed away in prison. That would have been, probably, that would probably would have kicked him, messed us up even more. And, and I was also so glad we got to spend time with him. My brother got to spend a lot of time, especially, like I said, me and my sister, we, you know, we used to go see him once a month. So we got to spend time with him for the, when he was, you know, when he was locked up for like, it was 12 years. We went to see him like once a month and we sent him packages and so I wrote him letters and stuff. And so my other brother, like I said, they used to come here to take care of him. He got to spend time with, with, with Kenny and, and I'm glad he had that time, but I still think he needs, he needs uh, to talk to a psychiatrist or something. Cause I think he's still messed up behind this because he was, he called me the other day and he was going to come over because he said he wanted to um, look through his papers and stuff. And he was thinking about leaving New York <laughs> and, <coughs> excuse me. And I don't think he's going to do that. 
I don't think he's gonna. He didn't even make it over here. He didn't. You know, he said he was, but he he never came over here. And I think it's I think it's hard psychologically for him to come. Uh, like I said, I think it's I think it's hard on him because he, like I said, he was back there. And I remember the phone calls when I was called from work, and he was saying, "Come on, come on!" You know, he was. You could hear it in his voice. He was, while he was working on him, and, then, and they told me that they wanted to. My sister told me that the, that the EMT was going to sedate him because you know, they thought my brother was he was hysterical, so they were going to sedate him. And I, I still, I still don't think because even I think it was that week, the the next day, I think it was. Or we went out to eat and stuff, and we got to an argument because he he was all emotional in this, and he had to leave the restaurant. And I just think he's he needs to talk to somebody to because I think he's psychologically messed up behind finding my brother back there, at least watching them work on him, which can mess anybody up. I can that can probably mess anybody up. Anyway, um, like I said, I'm going to try, try to watch Falcon and the Winter Soldier and uh, maybe Godzilla and Kong and see if I can watch it. Uh, if I can watch those, maybe I'll, I'll do a quick video for those. Like I said, I haven't really been up to making videos at all and I apologize for that. Uh, I'm just looking forward to, like I said, going back to work. And my friend told me this. My friends from work called me after and, and told me it's crazy if you think about it when the COVID first started, you know, I didn't get laid off. So I was me and the one guy, uh, Gary, we were going to work, you know, we were you know, wearing our masks and all something. We were going to work and we never caught COVID. <laughs> and, and then all of a sudden, now that they got the vaccine, <laughs> You catch COVID, which is, which is a weird, I don't know, that's a weird thing. <laughs> uh, like I said, I got the, the one shot. Uh, and um, like I said, hopefully, like I said, once I go, I'm going to go Monday to the city med place. And hopefully the test, take the test, the PRC test. And that comes back, hopefully that comes back negative on Wednesday. And that comes back negative. Uh, I'm gonna go back to work on the 12th. I'm gonna so I'll let my boss know, and I, I pray that it comes back negative, so that way I can go back to work and get some sense of normalcy back. And it's just, like I said, it's been a crazy two weeks. I just, oh, I just, it's weird and. Like I said, talking to you this way is a therapy for me in a way. And my friend he in Chicago, he's trying to keep my spirits up and he was talking about doing a hangout, but I don't know if I'm even up to that. Uh, I'll text him back and see and, and tell him, I don't know, it's just a, I, I want to get back to some sense of normalcy, uh, get back to some sense of normal behavior <laughs> and like I said uh, the lady in the hospital told us she said maybe you shouldn't have got the shot anyway I mean, you got the shot <laughs> but maybe you shouldn't have got the shot anyway because you weren't feeling although I did like I said I started I think I had COVID and I think that test those false negatives for that that COVID place over here where you know they were giving those false negatives and I had lost my sense of taste, so that I had, you know, well, again, I tested positive COVID. So, but she was saying that maybe you should have had you know, the test anyway. But, you know, what's done is done. I had the test now, the one shot, and now that I test positive for COVID, I've been quarantining myself, like I said, so I'm going to go Monday to the city my place and hopefully get the PRC test and that comes back negative. I'm hoping Wednesday. Uh, I'm gonna uh, 
go there, get the, you know, <coughs> sign up, register, <coughs> excuse me, register. And, um, and like I said, my niece and my brother, like I said, have had, you know, they tested positive too. My niece has been quarantining herself and my brother's been quarantining himself in his house. Uh, like I said, so I'm going to go get my self tested on Monday again to this, to the city med place. And I'm praying <coughs> that that comes back negative on Wednesday. So I will, I will, uh, go back to work and try to get some sense of normalcy back in, in my, in my life. It just, I just need the, I think the normalcy of work, uh, I think that's what I need to, to start feeling normal. And, and I'm hoping, like I said, I check with my sister and my, and my, um, my brother-in-law, he, he had a thing with his eye. He had a, like a, a my sister said he had like a mini stroke in his eye and his eye was bleeding and he had to go to the hospital. She had to go to the hospital with him for that. And he has, I think it's some kind of surgery on this upcoming week. So I'm hoping that he is feeling better. It's, like I said, it's been a crazy, crazy two weeks in my life. <laughs> but I hope and pray, and I hope and pray that things, uh, what I'm going to do in a minute, I'm going to try to you know, register this, upload this video, and I'm going to, get up and wash up and eat me some soup and some crackers and then later I'm going to uh, see if I can go to, go to the supermarket and, and get some stuff, you know, some food, you know, for the last me, you know, for a couple of days and hopefully, uh, and I need my clothes to get washed too. And I don't know if I can get my, I may be able to get my stepfather to, to do that, to wash the clothes. Since, like I said, he can go outside now. Before he was restricted, but now he can go outside now. And like I said, he has a home attendant that comes by a couple of days a week. So he's not getting my stepfather's not contagious anymore. And he, I know he has to get tested again, uh, to, you know, to make sure he's negative. So, Hopefully, I'm hoping that hopefully he becomes negative. Hopefully he's negative. They were so they were treating him where he was in the hospital, and hopefully I can test negative on Monday. I'm praying that I do. And uh, like I said, um, uh, I apologize for the lack of videos, but like I said, it's been a psychological. It's been a it's been a messed up two weeks. Like I said, between my brother dying and, and my family getting sick and just getting COVID and, and staying in the house, quarantining myself, it's been insane. Like I said, um, I'll see if I can try to watch Godzilla vs. Kong. If I do, I'll make a quick video about it. I'll try to, I'll try to do that real quick. I don't know if I'm up to doing a hangout with Sam. I'll, I'll probably text him and tell him I, I just don't. Like I said, the good thing is I'm not feverish. I don't have a sore throat. Um, I'm not, I don't got diarrhea or anything like that. So, uh, like I said, I've been checking my oxygen level. So, um, I'm healthy. I feel healthy, at least. I just... I just want to make sure that I've been, like I said, been staying in my room for the most part. The only time I go outside my room is when I need to go to the bathroom or if I have to go to the kitchen. And like I said, I have the Clorox wipes. And I've been wiping down, you know, when I use the bathroom and wiping down the sink and wiping down the toilet. So I'm going to try and trying to stay in my room. So hopefully. Like I said, I'm going to upload this video, and, and if I hopefully I can watch Godzilla vs. Kong later if I feel up to it. And maybe I'll do a review of it real quick. 
I don't know if I'll do a hang up with Sammy. Maybe later if I, I feel up to it. Maybe I will, but I just, I just, I want to get better. <laughs> that's what I want to do. I want to get better. And I want to get out of this house. <clears throat> that's what I, that's the two things I want. I want to make sure I test negatively, and I want to get out of the house and go back to work. I'm just, I'm sick of being in the house. <clears throat> and uh, those are the things I want to do. I want to get better. Hopefully my stepfather will have a test negative as well. Hopefully my, I check with my sister to see how my niece is doing. And check with my brother to see how he's doing. Hopefully he's he's going to test negative as well. And hopefully we'll get better. And, and we can get past this point. Like I said, it's been a crazy two weeks, which I don't wish on anybody. And it's an anxiety about this thing is, is crazy. But anyway, I hope everybody have a good week. Okay, and uh, and like I said, I'll make a quick video real quick Wednesday when I get the results of my COVID test. Hopefully that's negative. I'll make a quick video so you know. Hopefully I test negative, fingers crossed. And I'll let my boss know that, you know, that I test negative and then I'm going back to work because so, i got to get out of this house and before I go crazy. Okay. Okay. So anyway, take care, everybody. Be well. Be safe. Again, wear your mask, social distance. Like I said, I'm washing my hands. I'm using my Clorox wipes and to wipe everything down that I use. And hopefully I'll feel better and stay safe, everybody out there. And this is Trey Pass saying so long. Take care.